Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Hey, good evening, gang. Uh, we have got a great looking run of weather here. There is one little uh, kind of road bump uh, that we have to get through uh, on Friday. Uh, with some wet weather just kind of scraping by as we look live downtown tonight on the bank of Utica iNet weather camera. And we've got uh, just kind of these thin high clouds filtering in uh, through the overnight hours. So it will be mainly clear to partly cloudy on average. 48 now with a calm wind. That dew point is at 44. So that number probably drops to that number overnight. So we're going to end up in the low and mid 40s. It'll be clear and cool and kind of refreshing to start. Fantastic fall weather overall. I mentioned we have one little hiccup here. Clouds are going to start to fill in through the day tomorrow. And then there's a chance of rain on Friday. After that, it is conceivable that there will not be a drop of rain for the next 7 to 10 days. And it's, it's the hunt for warm October. It's not red. Uh, wait till you see the forecast going in uh, to next week. In the 40s now, Rome, Marcy, and Utica, also over towards Little Falls and Herkimer. It is 45 right now in uh, Milford and Worcester, 46 Springfield Center, 47 in Oneonta, and up north temperatures here dropping into the low 40s. Some of the uh, normally cooler spots up here will get down into the 30s tonight. There's Philippe, or Felipe, a uh, tropical storm, and then fast on its heels is another area of interest that we're watching. This could become Rena, but most, both of these systems do not look like they're going to impact land at all. High pressure north, that southeast flow, and then there's this area low pressure here with some wet weather towards Detroit Motor City tonight. That is going to work its way east and south uh, and will scrape the area with some rain by Friday. All right, so high pressure will roll in here uh, for the weekend, and that's going to provide us with a good deal of sunshine, mild weather, warmth west, wet weather suppressed to the south. The end result is just some great weather as we go into the weekend. So watch that little area low pressure there near Cleveland. It comes this way, and it kind of scrapes parts of the area here with some wet weather Friday. I think the highest likelihood for a period of light rain or some drizzle or something to that effect will be Utica points south and east. And then that kind of pivots away and sets us up for some great weather uh, going into the weekend. Uh, forecast for you here in Oneida County, right around 70 Utica, Rome. Clouds increase through the course of the day. I think it's upper 60s near 70 across the central leather stocking region. Cooperstown, Milford, Oneonta, upper 60s to near 70 sun to clouds and then up across the north country here i think temperatures mid and upper 60s as clouds increase tonight mainly clear uh calm cool collected night low and mid 40s tomorrow good deal of sunshine to start over to more clouds as we get into the afternoon and evening mild for the afternoon high of 71. check out the seven day forecast so again, that little road bump Friday with a chance of rain. Temperatures right around 70 and then becoming mostly sunny Saturday, sunny to partly sunny through the rest of the weekend and into next week, which the first week of October. And look at where those temperatures end up, Jamie Azule, <laughs> near 80 by uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe even low 80s. In my head, this is when things were starting to cool down, getting into the swing of fall, mm. you know, leaf peeping, sweater, yeah. warm apple cider, on, not quite. On that note, the weather this coming week, warm during the day, nice and cool at night, will really help to pop those colors. Should be pretty good fall awesome. foliage viewing. Yeah, and there are already starting to change. So. Yeah, we'll show you that coming up tomorrow night. Cool. Craig, thank you. Next after this break, take your time traveling, especially on the backcountry roads where you're more likely to run into buggies and slow moving farm equipment. Reminders for road safety coming up.